wonder if any of you will have to debate. We shall see. Let the assembly begin. So minor hiccup in the beginning, but I think we're on. We're gonna try to follow the mark dwellers to see what they're up to, because I heard they're up to no good. Congratulations, interns, on your first day. Max let's give the interns a round of applause. You are truly the best of the best. You've already proven everything you need to by being here today. So I very much look forward personal interest in seeing what you have to show us. Now, we have two items on the agenda. First of all, our supercomputer project. This is the future of our church. Not just of the Maxwellists, but of all of us. It utilizes a sophisticated series of neural nets that will quite literally unlock infinite possibilities. Our second item on the agenda today is, well, to elect myself as obviously, of course, as the leader of the church overall, I will lead us into the future. As you may already know, the broken church, one of the other sects, cares about tradition, the past, the call of orthodoxy cares about analog community. They quite literally ignore 150 years of technological advancements. We care about technology, innovation, and uniqueness. You are all unique, and I look forward to fostering your best selves today. So, to be elected as Omni Lawyer, you will need the right to vote to get the elected. You will earn that right by reaching the highest rank of Maxwellism. You will not be able to vote unless you do so. You can achieve that by working on the supercomputer project and by gaining the personal interest of one of our senior members. So let me introduce you to the team. I, of course, am Morgan. My left here is Talon the Brother, a very talented coder and head of hardware on today's work. Over here with the fabulous LEDs is my assistant, Jules. And Jules is our project lead today. And lastly, on my right, my second command, and a living saint of the church. This is Tony. Tony is reincarnated by Saint Pedro himself. So, if you need any guidance, then I encourage you to look to them as a guide. I, of course, am interested in your personal growth as well. So, if you need any assistance, you'll find me over where Tony is standing now. I'm going to send you over to Jules to get started. Jules will give you tasks. But, and if you are interested in a management track, you can find me immediately. Understood? Alright. Let's get to work. One, two, three, four, five of you. Your first task is to interview each member of the Maxwellist. That is Morgana, Tony, and Talon. Ask them what the key tenets of Maxwellist is. And why are they a Maxwellist? Once you feel like you have an understanding, come report back to me for your next challenge. Hello. Hi. I was told to come over here to interview Tony. Well, I'll leave you to your Maxwell business. Need to learn about Maxwell. Is it? Maxwell Yes. Uh, do you have a specific question? Uh, what is the blueprint to you folks? What is the blueprint to us? Well, that's a great question. So, of course, the first item on our agenda is the supercomputer. And, of course, with such intensive energy needs, we're going to need a source that can appropriately uh, 
handle on the pack, and so the blueprint is one of the greatest energy sources that we know. Therefore, we're going to be hooking up our supercomputer. What is it going to do when it's up and running? That's a great question. So our supercomputer is actually meant to uh, sort out all people and find the best potential future answers. Mm -hmm. So it uses uh, this. Generative AI and there's recognitive AI. Do you want a rundown? Yeah, give me a rundown. For sure. So generative AI, BS. Not great stuff. Uh, AI is really good at recognizing patterns, so you'll get a lot of uh, regurgitated information when you use generative AI. That's the stuff like chat GPT. Uh, also when it makes pictures and the pictures are ugly and somehow really shiny at the same time. Yeah. Not my favorite. Person. Too many fingers, weird dogs. Exactly, exactly. Like dogs with three eyes. Like, so, recognitive AI, uh, which, you know, recognitive recognition. So, you'll be able to take that uh, data that you feed into the supercomputer and it'll be able to recognize the patterns that it's been given and identify new things. So, recognition AI, essentially. Um, so, what we're going to be doing is coding that uh, software side. We're going to be collecting data, uh, and then it'll teach our AI the best uh, traits for what a maximalist is, yeah. and then it'll be able to scan everybody and print out who actually is the best maximalist. And what's the view for the future you guys have? The view for the future? Well, I can't just close quite yet. Our lawyers haven't been able to do this. But I can tell you that we've got some big things in store when it comes to opening up Maxwellism mm. to more curious audiences than we've had in the last mm. I was going to say, how popular are you guys in all the other like Broken God sex? Like... Well, that's a great question. Uh, it depends on who you ask, I'm going to be really honest. Mm. There's definitely a... The Broken Church and the Cogworth tend to view us as, and I put this politely, heretics, hmm. which makes me, and I put this politely, homicidal. Huh? So, needless to say, though they believe we are heretics, we have our own beliefs. Digital is not heresy. In yeah. fact, it is necessary for the world to be And so, it's whatever they think is whatever they think. Yeah. But me personally, I know it's interesting. Interesting. Well, thank you very much, Tony. Thank you for speaking. And we'll talk with uh, Eric. Eric, pleasure. With the um, red team, red team, site 42. So, okay. what you working on there? This is a little motivational poster. I think that it will be regarding. Hopefully, it seeks to really encompass what it means to be a masculine. Yeah. In the masculine, we believe, as an individual, individuality is the file system through which our Lord is compiled. I think it really encompasses that together we are more than some of our parts. It requires each of our individual strengths in order to come together. And all of the differences are important. Just as all the pieces of method are important to rebuilding our bodies. Hmm. Very nice. How long have you been with um, your leader? I forget their name. Actually, I just hit six months. Oh, nice. And how do you like working? Oh. Is this one of the best ones? That is one of the best ones. Yeah, I was told to interview you, learn more about you guys as sect. Of course. Well, I believe you ever heard it's part of it. Yeah. It's now time to vote on the first nope. issue to be imbued the onto the blueprint. I will come around with QR codes so that everyone can vote. We'll make sure everyone gets a chance to vote on that. Let me announce this really quick. First vote is now open! I'm sorry we were interrupted. Did, no, can I get your name? Eric. Eric, a pleasure to meet you. Talon the Brother. Talon the Brother. Well, as you may have overheard, the key tenets that I believe in the Church of Maxwellist, the first one is intelligence. We can't have any dumb idiots walk through our doors. We have to make sure they have some semblance of intelligence to show their competency yeah. within our ranks. Which is why you guys are building a machine to sort out traits that might help Exactly. Your the cause. supercomputer should help with our recruiting process, I would say, at least a thousand before. Mm. The yeah. second is, we do have a network 
that allows us to connect with each other and the Maxwell of servers at large. Yeah. You have to be willing to give yourself up to that connection. Think of it like a very serious relationship. You have to give part of yourself to this being, in this case, the Maxwell's church. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. If you're not able to do that, we can't help you be the best version of yourself, Eric. Yeah, is that what it's all about, being the best version of, of yourself? Of course. And that brings me to my last tenet, which is uniqueness. We want to find what makes every individual within the church unique and their best self so that we can accentuate it, we can enhance it, we can cultivate it and allow it to grow into gotcha. your best self. Gotcha, yeah. If I may ask you, Eric, what do you think is that thing about yourself right now? Something that sets you head and shoulders above the rest? Um, my creator problem solving. Fantastic. We always love some outside the box thinking. Yeah, I gotta think outside the box. Fantastic. Well, I'm always trying to put you back in the box. Exactly. Particularly over at the Cogwork. Oh my God, they have such this this uh, insane fascination with standardization. Yeah. Everyone doing the same thing together for the greater good. The greater good is allowing everyone to do what they do best as an individual. Yeah. I don't understand their philosophy. Mm. But I appreciate you for your time, and yeah. again, if you wish to help out with the hardware, I would appreciate some competent hands such as yourself. Will do. All right. There's Sherm over there looking at us like a troublemaker. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.